So Jason's going to come with us, and, and uh, we're at Riverbend Park. And what happened is that a lot of kids who plan on coming to Riverbend couldn't make it because they were you know, school had stopped. So uh, we decided we would do a virtual field trip. So that's why we're out here today. So Jason and I are going to walk around um, Riverbend Park, and we're going to talk about what, what we would talk about as if, as if people were here. So um, we hope you enjoy what we're about to show you, and we'll have some resources at the end that you can check out. Uh, to study about what are the, some of the things we see. So let's get Jason over here and we'll take off. We're at uh, Riverbend Park and we're gonna uh, kind of check out the live oak forest and see what's going on and how energy moves through this ecosystem and how some of the Native Americans might have used these plants prior to the gold rush. So we'll, we'll do a couple of those. So I'm gonna give you some plants to engage with. And what you wanna keep in mind is you don't wanna just go and pick up a plant because some of them have you know, stickers on them or they're poison oak or something that's probably not good. So here's, here's some uh, uh, plants and animals that we're gonna look at. I want, I want you to look at this for a second, see if you can memorize one or two, and then uh, we'll see if we can see some of these things as we go. So check it out. So Jason, before we go, I just want you to keep in mind that as you look down this path, we want to stay on the path. Yeah, not oh. fear off. That's right, because we got critters around here that we don't want to surprise. You know, namely, you saw a picture of the rattlesnake, yeah, right? Yeah, I don't want that to. No, so stay on the trail okay. and we'll be good. Um, I'll, I kind of am in front, kind of keeping my eyes open, because that's yeah. what I do, and you kind of walk behind me. We're going to just keep our eyes open and see what we see. All right, Okay. Sounds good. good. One thing, Jason, I want to I want to point out to you is this um, cucumber vine. Whoa! I know, isn't it cool? So cool. <laughs> so, it's it's not a cucumber, but it's called a cucumber sure. vine. And I'm I'm gonna go grab something. So here's what I want to show you. If you remember, it's like sponges. You see that? Remember those little telephones, and they had the, like the telephone yeah, cord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so what this cucumber vine is doing is it's it's grabbing on like a ladder and it's spinning those tendrils around and it's using that to climb its, its way up. So that's a cucumber vine and what do you think? Why are they going up so high? What do they want? The sun. Sun's energy, yeah. If it stayed low in this grass, it wouldn't get the, all the energy it needs. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And so the adaptation of that plant is of course to, to be able to climb up that tree, if yeah. you will. Yeah. yeah, here you go. So those are the pipe vine butterflies and it's a great time of year to see them. Uh, in uh, April, May, June. So there's a lot of butterflies out here, and then we'll see the caterpillars that they came from yeah. too. So Jason, see this butterfly right here? Yeah. That's on it. I want you to think of that cucumber plant that we had a minute ago. Yeah. This is a different kind of climbing plant. It's called a vetch. It's part of the pea family. Okay. I'm gonna break my rule. Okay. <laughs> you stay there. And I'm gonna grab a little piece of this vetch. And you can see, that this oh, guy has these curlies. little curlies too. Yeah, it's coming right. Yeah, these little curly guys right here. Yeah, it's attached to this. Right, right. So well, this is again, uh, another way or another plant that utilizes an, uh, the adaptation of, of some way to, to get higher yeah. so it can get out of this shady darkness. Yeah. Right, if yeah. you will, to get energy. And I'm pulling these plants uh, to show you for educational purposes, yes. but we don't just come out and start grabbing plants. Yeah. Okay, so. It's not good for the parkway. We'll just put that back there. It'll decompose, go back into the soil. Right. So th this is a, a pipe vine, yeah. okay? So the butterfly is the pipe vine butterfly, right? Yeah. And okay. this is the pipe vine itself. And it has utilized, again, the same adaptation as the last <laughs> two plants that yeah. we talked about. And it's climbing its way up these low hanging branches of this live oak right here. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab one. Breaking the rule again. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab one. I'm breaking the rule. And, uh, and we're gonna check it out. It looks like leaves. Yeah. So here we go. Kind of hello. Make a little noise. That one looks a little brown. Stuff on it. Oh, they're oh they're really on it. So that's the caterpillar okay. right there, and that's about the size of a number two pencil lead, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you are you comfortable holding this? Me? Oh, look, there's two more. Check it out. And they'll get as big as your pinky. So hold your pinky out. That. Yeah, they'll yeah. get they'll get like this big. They'll half get... of my pinky nail. Right now. Well, not yeah, half of your picking nail, right? Yeah. So the the um, butterfly is is laying the eggs on that plant, yeah. and it's like being 
born in a grocery store, if you will, because they just get to eat, 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 eat. Oh yeah, they eat, do eat the, this. It ate the whole plant. Yep. Okay. What's interesting with these is, is that if you were to uh, be an animal and want to eat one, yeah. you would go and you'd spit it out. It tastes terrible. Yeah. So the chemical that's in here is pretty, uh, um, uh, it it's very bitter. So these caterpillars that can't run away, yeah. they taste bad. So that's their adaptation. So, so they don't die. So they don't get eaten yet. Yeah, because yeah, there's they don't, they can't run away very well. They're not very, they're not very fast. No. So, so I'm gonna go set this back. Right. What is that? That's a hole in the ground. <laughs> something to do it. Yeah, something to do it. <laughs> Those big birds that we saw earlier? Yeah. Turkeys. Oh yeah. What are they, what are they doing? I know, kinda looks like a nest maybe, right? Kinda. It's called a turkey bath. And so, There's no, water. no, it's dirt. So you use soap and water. Yeah. And okay, they use dirt, and they they get in there and they flap their wings and like the dust comes all up and they get all that dust on their feathers. Yeah. And it helps protect them from um, mites and other small little critters that no bug them. The grass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So this is called a turkey bath, and you'll see these kind of everywhere. So if you lived here. Jason, prior to the gold rush, yeah. and you had a tummy ache, yeah. you might have a tea made with this leaf. Yeah. Okay. So somebody might have, they, they'll pick some of these and put it in some hot water, and you drink that tea. It's a medicine. Yeah. It's called mugwort. Okay. So come over here. I want, I want you to share this with you. Yeah. You don't eat this. Okay. Yeah. First one, you want to look at it, which we've already done. Okay. Second one, you want to smell it. Okay. Okay. Smell and then the then the third. Well, you're gonna find out. And then the third one, you're gonna crush it. Okay. And then the fourth one, smell you're gonna it. smell it again. Okay. And then the fifth one, you're gonna drop it. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna head out, and it's gonna get a little sunnier. And uh, so stay on the trail. When it's sunny, the potential for the, the snakes to be kind of getting uh, some some sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just we'll keep our eyes open. What do you do with your stick? What's that? What do you do with your stick? So rattlesnakes um, listen with their whole body, so they sense a vibration. And a rattlesnake is not interested in you and is not interested in me. Yeah, but if we step on it, it's going to want to defend itself. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just saying, hey, we're here. Now, the, the snakes on the American River Parkway, there's a term for them. It's called they're habituated, which means the habit is that people are here walking on the trail. And sort of the unspoken deal we have with the rattlesnakes is we stay on the trail and they stay where they're protected and yeah. hidden. So this is called Santa Yerba, and it's just starting to flower and you can yeah. see some butterflies cruising around and a little bit later if today or yesterday or tomorrow I don't know hummingbirds will come and hang out here and behind us I'm gonna grab a, one of these guys and I want you to put your finger out are you okay with this yes. okay put your finger out I'm gonna go like this okay, okay now turn your finger upside down it's not <laughs> no it's not it's it's called sticky monkey flower what was the monkey I don't know, but you know where the sticky's from. Oh, definitely. Yeah, so that's called sticky monkey flower again. It's everywhere up and down the parkway, along with this Santa Yerba here. So you see the state flower there, the, Cal yeah, the yeah. California poppy? Yeah. yeah. Aren't they beautiful? Don't no, pick those. Don't pick them, yeah, no. Absolutely. You just leave them alone. We're going to head back to the amphitheater. Okay. And then we'll um, grab a snack or some water or something, and then we'll head off down to the river. And we're actually going to go down uh, near the water and check out some of the things that are, that are down close to the water. Cool. You up for that? Let's do it. All right, here we go.